What's going on there guys? Good evening. The Earthmaster here on this beautiful Saturday night, uh, June 4th, 2022, about 9 p.m. West Coast time here. Where we got a little bit of rain coming in here to the West Coast and also quite a bit of earthquake activity ramping up here over the last, oh, 12 hours or so. We've seen, uh, well, in the last 24 hours, we've seen three six-pointers so far. Also some large-scale movement up here off the coast of the Pacific Plate. Oh, we got the Pacific Plate boundary and North American Plate. Let's go ahead and check out uh, those details a little bit more on the USGS map here. We're going to start up here off the coast of the Canada region. Prince Rupert area, seen a 5.1. This earthquake originally came in as a 5.6 almost immediately after the subsequent uh, this activity up here along the Rat Islands area where we've seen a 6.3. Now, 6.3 kicked up here following all this movement down south, but we're going to kind of focus on this area up here along the northern and the eastern part of the North American plate, which we haven't really seen too much activity recently. So the Rat Islands earthquake up here, 6.3. Almost immediately afterwards, uh, we've seen that uh, 5.1 strike in the Prince Rupert area of Canada about, uh, oh, about 20 minutes or so following that 6.3. Also around that same time, we had an earthquake up here in Northern California, just outside of Mount Shasta. This is a very deep earthquake. I uh, haven't seen too much deep earthquake movement here in this area of Northern California in quite some time. The 75 kilometers deep for a 3.2. And that earthquake still sits at an automatic status review. Although I did check the um, Caltech website. Let me see if I can bring that up here. Southern, uh, right here. Southern California. Well, that's the wrong one. Hold on. Stand by for one second. Got a couple different Caltech ones here. Recent earthquakes. There we go. Uh, I did check this map here, and it looks like it's verified. Uh, 3.2. It's uh, 17 miles west-southwest of Weed at 75 kilometers. And it looks as though it has been reviewed. Well, actually, it says version number two. This report supersedes any earlier reports of this event. This is actually a computer-generated message, so I guess this hasn't been reviewed yet. I, I find it pretty odd that uh, a couple hours have passed now that this earthquake struck and we haven't seen anyone out there review it. I know it's a weekend, but man, it's kind of a kind of a big deal. 3.2 down there, 75 kilometers. So we'll watch this, see if it does kick up. A lot of times uh, when we see these larger earthquakes, even at a distance. Uh, it tends to trigger uh, sensitive seismograph stations around the globe. And for exa example, this is going to be in Northern California here. But 75 kilometers, I, that's, that's deep. Very deep. So we'll keep an eye on that one, see if they get it reviewed. All I know is these two are definitely confirmed. Got the 5.1 Prince Rupert uh, Canada area. It has been reviewed by a seismologist. It sits at about 10 kilometers. We haven't seen a whole lot of earthquake activity here along the North American and the uh, Pacific Plate boundary, just at the very northern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. See that? Cascadia subduction zone begins right about here to, as we got the Explorer Plate uh, subducting underneath uh, this area around the Queen Charlotte Sound. So, uh, yeah, that's, um, it's, it's been uh, pretty quiet up here in this region, pretty... Uh, uh, at least most recent times here. So, large-scale activity occurring throughout the Pacific Plate over the last 24 hours. Let's go ahead and start here down in the Tonga region. Um, we did see that 6.2 strike up there pretty deep, 238 kilometers. That was quickly, quickly followed up about 10 minutes later by a 6.4 down here well south of the Tonga region, but also... If you look at this in terms of a whole plate, uh, obviously it's a whole plate, but if you look at terms of when one plate moves, obviously there's some adjustment going on down here, right? So we've seen pressure kind of increase here well to the south and to the west. It is out there around the uh, um, Antarctic plate and the uh, Australian plate area right smack dab in this region where I'm pretty certain that we've seen quite a bit of earthquake activity throughout time here. Obviously, you can see that there on the map. No stranger to earthquakes since about 19... Uh, at least this map goes 
about 1900 or so, quite a bit of earthquake activity. So very seismically active region, but it just kind of goes to show you how um, certain areas of the plate uh, can affect other areas, either locally or long distancely. Long, does that even make sense? Long distancely. Long distance. There we go. Just uh, kind of excited for the rain coming on, coming in here tonight. So, um, okay. So a lot of movement taking place here all around the Pacific Plate, including this 6.3 in the Rat Islands area that has been followed up by a couple other aftershocks. Now, these are down there right around 108, 111 kilometers, same as the main quake. But something to watch pretty closely because I'm not 100% certain this is the main quake uh, with the uh, consistent depths there. we got to watch that pretty closely. Uh, Northern California, aside from that movement, that's still questionable there outside of Mount Shasta. There's not a whole lot going on throughout the region. Uh, one earthquake here around the Bay Area outside of Pleasant Hill, California. 10 kilometer depth for a 1.5. And a little spotty activity up and down the San Andreas Fault. Um, not a whole lot happening along the eastern crest of the Sierra Nevada. Southern California. Uh, got two earthquakes or so around the Borrego Springs region. La Quinta. Uh, but overall, not a whole lot. Not a big deal going on right now in Southern California. Uh, throughout the interior part of the states, uh, we did have that earthquake outside of Trinidad. A 2.9 little odd earthquake out there, but uh, sometimes we do get those popping up. It's a movement throughout Kansas, Oklahoma, and the New Madrid zone, but those are all prior earthquakes from this morning, um, which were included in uh, the update earlier. Puerto Rico area, kind of a spread out deal here. You guys see that? It's been a while since we've seen this much earthquake activity um, spread out. Normally we got a swarm going on here around the southwestern portion of Puerto Rico. Now, it's intensified broadly throughout the region of the Puerto Rico Trench. Uh, so, got to watch out pretty closely. This area is definitely capable of producing a sizable earthquake. There is a little bit of swarming up here around the Puerto Rico Trench with a swarm of threes and uh, looks like at least a four in there as well. Um, outside of the uh, British Virgin Islands area, U.S. Virgin Islands, this whole area showing some seismically increase pressure in this area south america some movement going on through the peru chile trench although i think uh i think it's safe to say possibly that we should start seeing um some earthquake activity further west uh, along the northwestern part of the pacific ring of fire and also here around the mariana trench it kind of seems like uh with all this broad movement along the pacific plate from pretty much south to north here uh, we should see that westward movement kick up here pretty soon. Uh, Hawaii, not a whole lot going on. A little activity around the southeastern edge. And also a little odd earthquake here near the Captain Cook Hawaii region, a 2.2. Looks like it is on shore at about 7.9 kilometers there for the depth of that earthquake. Uh, looking at the trimmer map tonight, shows most of the activity, if not all of it there. 138 epicenters. Into Northern California, or on parts of Southern Oregon, it looks like here. Underneath the, uh, what do we got? Grants Pass region, about 35, 45 kilometers down dip. Downstream here of the Cascadia trimmer activity taking place in that area of the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, activity around Mount St. Helens. We'll check that out here real quick and uh, see what we got. Kind of making this a quick update so I can get out there and enjoy the rain. I know I'm... Uh, my neighbors probably think I'm weird for standing out there, just kind of standing in the rain like a crazy person. But you know what? I enjoy the rain, I think, more than a lot of people do. Uh, earthquake activity, obviously, within the last couple hours here, we're seeing that kick up pretty uh, pretty nicely. I see some S waves up here towards the uh, very top of the chart from the 6.2 um, earthquake up in Alaska. Let's see if I can get the USGS to load up. 6.3 sorry excuse me uh, in the rat islands area so uh that is showing up pretty nicely on the uh seismograph station there at the mount st helens region checking out oh goodness the previous day i kind of wanted to see what that looked like but uh it's not going to show us so we have to deal with what the uh 
Well, they gave us here over the last couple of hours, and obviously earthquake activity continues in the microquake department there at uh, Mount St. Helens. Yellowstone National Park, there is the... Uh, Pretty certain that's the 6.3 seismic or the um, 6.3 signature. Let's go ahead and verify that. Make sure that we have it set up right there. 6.3 at 2338 UTC time. 2338. Probably going to be uh, yeah, going to be right about here because it does take a little time for the uh, the waves, the PNS waves, to travel. It looks like this one here is going to be the 5.1 off the coast there of Canada. So it did actually a pretty good job of picking up both of those earthquakes. As far as local vicinity earthquake activity goes, it, it doesn't look like anything's been affected here at Yellowstone. No microquake swarms, no major magma movement. No unusual UFO activity coming out of the ground here at Yellowstone National Park. A little, little joke there. Uh, let's see what else we got. Earthquakes Canada. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick here. See what these guys are reporting for that earthquake activity there uh, that took place earlier. And, uh, man, these guys, are they even reporting that earthquake? Doesn't look like it. What in the world's going on there? They're not even reporting that earthquake here, at least on the map. They're only showing the, uh, it looks like a 1.0 there from a couple days ago a little odd so maybe they're on uh, you know the weekend retreat they did post here this here in the recent news but uh, not listed on their map they have this listed as a 5.1 18 kilometers for a depth looks like uh, no reports of damage and none would be expected no tsunami expected of course so Alrighty, uh, let's see what else we got. Space weather events, not not a whole lot going on here, folks. We'll do just a really quick recap of the space weather. As you can see, flaring activity is very minimal. There is no major coronal holes facing us. Sunspots are pretty much absent from the Earth side facing sun right now. At least I know there's a lot of numbers out here, but man, there's there's nothing, hardly any dynamics when it comes to these sunspots which are currently facing Earth. So. Hope that changes. Everything is um, low key, so to speak. All right, guys, I'm gonna bounce out of here. Have a good night. Uh, I'm gonna get up a late barbecue. I'm, I'm kind of one of those people that uh, like to barbecue in the rain. And luckily I have some chicken and uh, maybe some corn. I'll pop up here on the barbecue and enjoy this rainy Saturday night here in northern california it's not too often do we get rain here in june i know a lot of a lot of the country obviously the southern plains northern plains all get that uh months not monsoonal but the uh the uh, thunderstorm activity gulf moisture kicking back up into the uh area producing those storms and whatnot but here in california it's very odd for us to get rain here in the first week of june at least here in the sacramento valley so I will take it, and I appreciate it, and I welcome more. The more we get, the better uh, The better I feel anyway, because I, I feel the rain's pretty cleansing, and it uh, kind of helps everything uh, stay moist out here. Hopefully keep the fires away. All right, guys, um, have a good night. We will chat you guys a little bit later, and uh, just be safe out there. Be prepared. Uh, with all the subsequent activity around the Pacific Plate right now, we uh, definitely, I think we need to watch some movement out here in the uh, West Coast area. I'm kind of curious, though, to see if this earthquake in Northern California outside of Mount Shasta is legit or not. It's uh, definitely raised off the globe. Not too often do we see earthquakes that deep. So it kind of leads me to believe that maybe it's not a legit earthquake, but uh, if it is, that's uh, definitely of significant importance there along the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, let's see. All right, guys. Have a good night. Please stay safe out there. And, of course, we welcome all the new super fans. Um, we will tomorrow. I'll include all the uh, folks that have joined the channel. And we, we uh, welcome you to join as well. Kind of provide some um, extra perks here to those that decide to join extra videos and whatnot here more of a personal nature outside of earthquake activity 
<coughs> excuse me, and uh, the special icons and some uh, special emojis and whatnot. We'll include a lot more uh, to those uh, super fans that join. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe. We'll chat to you a little bit later on. Peace out.